What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care, as we have now completed everything that we need to do right now at the Woodland region. We got the Master Sword, we completed all of Hestu's upgrades, we did all the side quests, all the shrines, and all of the collectible Koroks in the region bar one. Therefore, we are now going to go to one of the last areas that we have yet to complete. We're going to the bottom right corner to take on these side quests, and all that else is offered there too. So, I'll meet you by the tower. So here we are in the region, you can see I kind of made a little bit of a steps into the way because I actually got to the very peak of the mountain just south of uh, the first ever stables we ever meet. You may recognize this area, there's um, East Nakluder over there. We are at the very peak of this mountain and I could not find the tower for the life of me. Look at this whole view, you can barely see it, in fact you can't see it at all. The tower is within the forest that's attached to the western part of this region, the Lake Tower region. Therefore. We have to do a little bit of scavenging around to find it, but either way, let's fast forward and you'll see it come into view. Here it is, it's a tower, but it doesn't peek out by any means right by the jungle here. I'm even... F I thought it wasn't going to be that close to the edge, so I even marked my pin to think of that, but I was really... Quite a bit off. This is the Pharon Tower. And with that, we've now completed a full ring around all of Hyrule. Let's go! Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's get rid of that pin, but look at this! The whole map, aside from the hole in the middle, is all completely drawn in. Now then, let's talk about side quests. These are the locations of the five side quests that can be found in the Faron region, and as per usual, we're gonna go from west to east to take on all of them. First things first, we're going southeast of the tower, down to the Ubota point, on this patch of emptiness in the tree forest here, right by Lake Floria. It's almost Florida, but not quite. And this will take us to another new stables, the Lakeside Stable. Now first things first, let's go have a check at what's going on. First things first, we've got a recipe for some pie. Apples, I can't remember the name of the ingredients, but I know what they are by the looks of them. There's beetle here, which is very nice. You really like it here, that's great. One of these side quests can be given, I think, by the stable girl here. You are a stable man. Never mind. Hey buddy, you got a map? Uh, I have one. So on this map of yours, you see dueling peaks to the north of here? Well, apparently there used to be just one mountain a really long time ago. Legend says a dragon god split the mountain in half to forge your way through, and that's how it went from one to two. Recently, some are even saying that they've seen the shadow of a large creature on the surface of Lake Floria. I wonder if any of that is true. Interesting. Right, I'm going to keep talking to people for my own entertainment and also to get that um, side quest. Don't you think the waterfall thing allowing down from Lake Florida is the very picture of perfection? There's something strange at the top of that waterfall, though. Climb the ladder on the water tower and take a peek. You'll probably need a telescope or something for a good look. Sure. Let's give you a little peek to see what you're looking at, though I can have a I can have a guess at what you're talking about. Oh, is that it? Yeah, a mini volcano. Interesting. All right then. And then there's you over here. There you are. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear! Lightning strikes this stable so often I get nervous whenever it rains even a little. I just don't understand why it strikes so often. Hey, it's a long shot, but if you have some time, could you find out why? Leave it to me. You will? Really? I'm so happy. You can barely see it, but I am. I'm counting on you. 
You have quite an awkward smile, like it feels like you're supposed to have braces or something. Anyway, Thunder Magnet has begun. Now for this, we need to go to the top of the stables. And what you'll notice is there is an axe at the very top of it, clearly conducting the electricity and bringing it more commonly over here. Now we can just give it back to Seema, that's her name. What? You found out what was drawing the lightning here? It was a metal axe. Uh huh. yeah, that's as good as a lightning rod, isn't it? I wonder if someone put it up there on purpose. How strange. Thanks for looking into it for me. Here's something for your troubles. Rubber helm. Shock resistance. I can finally relax. Beautiful. I will look truly beautiful with my frigging... It looks like, um... Zant a little bit from um, Twilight Princess. Interesting. Anyway, with that done, we're now going to go over to the peak of Tuft Mountain. We want to go to the Yambi Lake, pretty much, and the little heart-shaped lake here. Ah, oh, it's like the broken one uh, in the East Nakluda region. Yeah, look at that. They're connected. Huh. Here we are at the peak of Tuft Mountain. Probably not connected to Ebert Mountain or Eb Eben. I can't remember. Ooh la la. Hey, I'm trying to work up the courage to talk to her. Just let me, yeah? No problem. <laughs> oh, I should have put nope rival time. Oh, well. <sighs> I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name is Wobbin. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. I closed my eyes for a minute, and when I opened them, the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen standing before me was standing before me. At first, I thought I was dreaming, or that she was a ghost or something. I mean, it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere. But a figment of my imagination or not, it was love at first sight. And now I've decided to gather my courage and go confess my feelings to her. I decided long ago that when I meet the girl of my dreams, I'll hand her a blue nightshade and confess my love. Aww. If I had a blue nightshade, I'd head straight over to that woman. I mean, imagine her in a blue nightshade. That'd make a beautiful scene, don't you think? Well, uh... We might have one of our own, let's find out. She stands there, completely unfazed by the rain falling around her, so splendid. I want to talk to her, but I don't have anything worthy of being a gift. If only I had a blue nightshade. Ah, the smell of it. I can almost imagine it right now. It's so clear, almost like it's... Wait, do you have some blue nightshade on you right now? Please, just please give me that flower. It, would, it, it couldn't be more important. Uh, if you say so. Thank you! This is so perfect! It's exactly what I needed! Ooh la la! Ah, I just... Uh, when I look at her, my legs freeze up. My throat goes dry. I, I can't do it. Please, could you take my gift to her? Sure. Thank you! I'll give you- I'll give you back this blue nightshade! Thank you- thank you. Oh, and don't forget to mention it's a present from me! Shall do, buddy. Okay. Let's run through the lake of love, apparently, and give it to her. Am I in the right place? Uh, Sabba Hey, just in me. But then, this is the pond of legend, is it not? The one where a person finds true love? Yeah, all I see right now is that strange color blooming over the whole screen. I mean, though, on the other side of the pond. Could I be at the wrong one? What's this? A gift from that guy. Mm -hmm. I see. So you're delivering these flowers for that vow over there? I don't sense any deceit from you. <laughs> so you the one who gave me the flowers. Eek! I'm sorry. C could it be that you don't like blue nightshade? Why would you say that? This is my favorite kind of flower! How did you know that anyway? Are you a eager spy? N no, that, that's not it. Blue Nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago, I decided to give my true love this flower. You're true love. So this is what they call destiny. You're the one that destiny has chosen for me, then. All right. Go ahead and speak your piece. What do you mean? 
No, that's not right at all. I'm talking about what a vote says to a vi. What do you mean? You know, something like, I like you, I'm pleased you're not with me. Oh, uh, sure, asking so directly, how could I possibly say no? <laughs> oh wow, did you hear that? She, she said she likes me and she wants to go out. This is the first time anyone has ever said they like me, or for it to come from the woman of my dreams. No, and for it to come from the woman of my dreams, this is such an amazing feeling. I'm so glad I was born into this world. There's no way I can truly thank you, but please take this as a token of my thanks. Red rupee, lovely. I no, of course not. Here, this is what I meant to give you. Silver rupee, much better. Much better. I think me and her are more on the wavelength. I hope you have as much luck finding someone as I did, thanks to you. But you give me nothing, huh? I see how this works. All right, well, that is a gift of nightshade completed. There's also a whole bunch of hearty radishes here, so I might go and nab some, but otherwise, we're gonna go further to the east, at the further eastern end of the Tuft Mountain, by this little corn beach part. Oh, I get it, because it's a heart lake. It gets hearty radishes, ah. I'm slow, excuse me. And now we're coming into the final village in the game that we haven't experienced ourselves, I believe. This place is way hidden down in the corner. It is Lurlin Village. A nice little tropical islandish kind of town. It's not quite on an island, but you get the feel of it. It's very tropical and lovely and just nice. Now let's go and find our side quest people. Well, here is one. It's a family sitting down. <sighs> You're a traveler? I'm a fisherman of this village, but we're, uh, we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a good haul at RS Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. Think you could go take care of him? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called RS Beach. The monsters have set up a shop there. Stay sharp. Alright, so time to go and take back the sea. RS Beach can be found way over to the west over here. Let's go. All right, here we are at RS Beach, and you'll see it is an entire enemy encampment. I'm gonna speed things up as I go and take them all out. And that is that done. Take back the sea is complete. We just need to give it back to Sebasto. Well, give it back means talk to, but you know what I mean. The Knight's Halberd, huh? Wow, this is clearly quite an, an, an easy area. I guess intended to be quite early. Back we are, and here is Sebasto. Hey, you take care of the monsters at Aris Beach. It's been too long since I've had a fish from those waters. Thanks, mate. I suppose I should give you this to show you my appreciation. Nice, a silver rupee. Come back whenever you'd like. I'll share the hole with you. The day's hole. Cool, and that is take back the sea complete. Next up is her. Kiana has something to say to us too. Are you a traveler? This is Lurlin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. My husband is a fisherman and I have had... Ugh. And I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen too. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Hmm. Make your... Uh, make your seafood palette. Paoletta. It's so good and yummy and great. That settles it. I'll make some seafood paoletta. Yay! We seem to be a bit short on ingredients, though. We need goat butter and a hearty blue shell snail. I can't go shopping for ingredients in this rain. Oh, I know. Could you go and get me the ingredients we're missing? Sure. Really? I'm happy to hear that. I'll be waiting. All right. What's for dinner? For that, you need goat's butter and the thingy, the snail. The snail can be found just on the beach of Lolin Village, and I think I've already got the goat butter, so we'll see. Oh, you have the ingredients. Can I have them? Sure. All right, I'll take those then. Now to start cooking. You can get goat's butter from most cooking shops. Here's a little something. Nice. Apple rupee. Since you found the missing ingredients, why don't you eat with us too? It'll be done soon. Oh, wow. That's really cute. And we got seafood paletta. 12 hearts too. 
Go on, dig in. It's delish. All right, and that's what's for dinner done too. Where is my map? There it is. Cool, and now we only have one more side quest to do, which is going to take us right to the body of water. Also, actually, Pekango's here. Hello. A gorgeous ocean and those who live in harmony with it. Words alone can't describe such exquisite scenery. Uh. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Hmm. Oh, yes, this is Hyrule Castle. It appears to be a view of it from before the Great Calamity. Rather than the castle, it focuses on the surrounding cloisters. What a fascinating composition for a picture. Whoever left this picture behind, I feel like they were trying to convey something special to the viewer. Interesting. Thank you, Pagango. Right, back to that side quest. Either way, we're looking for this old frailed man here. Are you a traveler? Welcome to Lurlin Village. I'm Ruzzle, I'm the head of this village. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have about the local things. Um, about the ocean. There are tales passed down of sunken treasure in the ocean around here. I would go look for it myself if I were a bit younger, but I've grown old. But you look like you have a young pair of legs and a strong back. Do you want to go look in my stead? I'm on it. I couldn't be happier to hear it. Now, according to the old tales, the treasure sleeps in the center of the golden triangle. Oh, by the by, do you happen to have a boat? If not, I can land you, lend you my raft. It's tied up at the wharf. Help yourself. All right, and that is the final side quest, Sunken Treasure Unlocked. We need to go and use it to get to the Golden Triangle, which is three rocks out in the ocean. And now it would be helpful if we had a Korok Leaf. We don't. So uh, I'm going to try and see if I can learn that whole uh, motorboating item technique. There we go. I do it in little bursts to make it actually move, because if I push it too far, it goes, you know, too far. Gosh, this works great with a giant boomerang. Physics, man. This game's great. Anyway, we want to get to those three rocks way off in the distance over there. Okay, here we are. Eventually we made it. And you can see there are four chunky nice treasure chests for us. Let's go get them. I think it's quite ironic that I came to Lurlin so late in my playthrough when it's clearly designed to be quite early game and it's giving you so many hearty radishes that are really helpful when you don't have as many hearts as I do at this point. But oh well. Anyway, let's go back to Rolin. I think his name was Ro Ro Ro, Ro Rosal Rosal, and thankfully the raft respawned too. Nice winds today. You really found it? Ho ho! Incredible. After all these years, people still manage to surprise me. You know, there might be some treasure that yet sleeps in this ocean. A diligent boy like you could get rich finding it. May all your delving end in gold. Sorry, buddy. I've had my fair share of sunken treasure. I've done it in pretty much every other region. And I decided to quit that long ago. Anyway, on that note, we have now done the side quest that I wanted to do in this region. And hey, we unlocked this region. So next time, we're going to go and do a little scouting around. We're going to unlock all of the shrines in the Faron region. And then we're going to go through it again for all of the Koroks. And then we're still not actually going to go to Central Hyrule. But soon, soon we'll be taking on the final boss of the game. For now, though, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.